Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of The Drum Brother. Uh, we're here today with the great Steve Gadd. Uh, he's on tour with James Taylor now, and uh, he passed by to say hello. How are you guys doing, all right? You good? Yeah, we're fine. Pretty good. <laughs> so Steve, um, I wanted to ask you a question about Groove. What kind of, um, what do you think Groove is, first of all, and um, what kind of workout can a drummer do to achieve a great groove? Uh, <clears throat> I think a, the, a groove is an agreement um, with uh, with the guys that you're playing with, with uh, the bass player and what's ever playing rhythm, and it's also um, um, a desire if you're playing with a with a drum machine or a click track, it's like trying to lock in with with um, the click. Mm -hmm. So the I don't know if there's any one definition of the groove. It's like when it gets locked in, it starts to feel good. And um, sometimes it can be with a click track. Sometimes it can be just with other musicians. Um, uh, it has to do with uh, trying to feel the time the same way that the people that you're, you're playing with feel it. So that you're, when, when you're going to hit one, that you're all hitting it in the same place. And it can change a little bit. It can be on top, it can be laid back. It's different for different players. Um, and it always, uh, for me, takes... There's, you have to uh, be able to adjust to what's going on around you. So I don't think there's any particular thing, definition of the groove. The real definition of the groove is when you lock it in, everything feels good. And so I think that's the determining factor. So then the writing part, when you have to write a groove and you, you listen to the, I don't know, the guitar, bass or what, what do you think, what, how do you choose what to do, what to play? Um, well, I, I listen to, uh, uh, you know, the bass player to try and f figure out what, if, I mean, it depends on if it's, if it's like a, a, a kind of a music where the bass player is playing like a, a figure that's repetitive, I would listen to it and try to figure out which, what part of the pattern I was going to play with. Um, if the bass player was playing freer, if it was like a jazz thing, then it's, um, it's not so much playing with him, it's just like understanding how he's playing the time so that what I do is, uh, is together with him, not not where I'm playing with him, but where I'm feeling the time the way he's playing it, and I can rhythmically fit what I'm doing in around, so we're we're, we're all on the same page, you know. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a matter it, you have, it's a matter of listening, and um, and trying to find a way to be comfortable. Playing with the people that you're, you're that are that are playing with you, um, the more comfortable it is, the the better it is for the music. Um, and also, like you, you have to, you know. I mean, when you talk about the groove, the the first thing I listen to is is the song, and then try to figure out how to uh, what I'm going to play musically to fit in with the song. The music, it, the music is the thing that dictates the whole thing. Listen to the, listen to the music 
then before you start talking about what everyone's going to play, listen to the music again, then start to play it, listen to what the bass player's doing, listen to what the other guys are doing, start to play some stuff to, you know, that, to see how you feel about it, and then maybe talk about it to see what, you know, after you get like a natural kind of feeling about what you feel, after you've heard the music, then talk about it with the other guys to see how you can adjust and, and where, there were, where there were spots that were a little bit funny, how you can make them better. And it's about coming to agreements about places where there was a little discrepancy. So it's playing for the others more than for yourself. Yeah, it's about you know, trying to make the music the best that it can be.